Well, some new controversy apparently over the Obama administration and illegal immigration in the wake of that deadly shooting in San Francisco, allegedly by an illegal immigrant. The White House abandoning an ICE program that was once called a success. The program tracked and deported illegal immigrants who have committed crimes. William Lajeunesse is live in Los Angeles with more on this. William? Well, Jenny, you know, most Americans, they don't agree on immigration issues. But if an illegal immigrant goes to jail, most believe they should probably go home. Since rounding up 11 million illegal immigrants was unrealistic, the feds created secure communities in 2008, using local jails as the choke point or the screen to separate the law-abiding illegal from criminal aliens. And here's how it worked. When a suspect was booked into jail, their fingerprints were automatically checked against the immigration database. If they overstayed their visa or committed a crime, they went home. By 2012, the administration called this program a brilliant success, helping deport some 700,000 criminal aliens. But Democrats, especially in big cities like Chicago and San Francisco, complained the program snagged too many guilty of nonviolent crimes like traffic tickets, theft, burglary. And they enacted those sanctuary laws to shield those immigrants by prohibiting the cops from cooperating when ICE wanted to pick up the inmate. Yet many argue those sanctuary laws now have gone too far, exempting not just the drunk driver and thief, but molesters and killers. It's not fair for cities to have choices like this. However, DHS and ICE have got to work with the realities that are out there. So secure communities simply did too well. It did exactly what Congress demanded after 9-11. So the president killed this program two years ago, and now studies show eight, of 8,000 illegal immigrants released by sanctuary cities, some 2,000 were rearrested within eight months for crimes, from domestic violence to, as we saw in San Francisco, murder. Back to you. Some interesting numbers there. William, thank you. Sure.